In the never-ending race between the two aviation giants Airbus and Boeing, one aircraft has emerged as a shining star, attracting the attention of millions of passengers around the world. That is the Airbus A350. It has gradually asserted its position and created a dramatic competition with its arch-rival Boeing. So why do airlines love it more than Boeing? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now, let's dive in. The first reason is probably down to the aircraft manufacturer itself. The initial response to the A350 was met with some criticism. However, Airbus actively listened to these concerns and responded by completely redesigning the aircraft. The resulting A350 extra wide body incorporated numerous advanced technologies and addressed the specific needs of airlines. Additionally, Airbus strategically canceled the original 800 variant, allowing them to concentrate their resources on the more popular 901,000 models. This decision proved to be successful as these larger variants gained significant traction among airlines seeking increased capacity and efficiency. Moreover, the A350's introduction coincided with a period of rising fuel costs, making fuel efficiency a crucial factor for airlines. The aircraft's innovative design, incorporating composite materials and modern engines, offered substantial fuel savings compared to older models. Additionally, Boeing's challenges with the Dreamliner, including supply chain delays and technical issues, provided Airbus with an opportunity to learn from their mistakes and avoid similar pitfalls in the A350 program. The successful launch of the A350 boosted airline confidence in the program, and positive feedback from both airlines and passengers fueled further development. The aircraft's quieter and more comfortable cabin solidified its reputation as a long-range, high-performance aircraft that could meet the needs of discerning passengers. Even airlines that initially hesitated to adopt the wide body began to recognize its potential and the competitive advantage it could offer. And the second reason probably lies in the plane itself. The A350's primary appeal lies in its exceptional fuel efficiency, making it a strong competitor against Boeing's offerings. In an era marked by fluctuating fuel prices and increasing environmental concerns, the aircraft's capability to consume 25% less fuel than older models is a significant advantage. This efficiency stems from the advanced Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine, celebrated for its outstanding performance. Key factors contributing to this performance include innovative engine design, high bypass ratios, and efficient combustion technology, all of which help minimize aviation's environmental footprint. The Trent XWB exemplifies Rolls-Royce's dedication to creating engines that combine power with sustainability. Additionally, the extensive use of composite materials enhances the aircraft's performance. These materials are considerably lighter than traditional aluminum alloys, which reduces fuel requirements and lowers operational costs. Composites also offer greater resistance to corrosion and fatigue, lessening the need for frequent maintenance and inspections. Their flexibility in design allows for more aerodynamically efficient shapes, further boosting the A350's overall performance. With a remarkable range and speed, the airplane opens new opportunities for airlines. The A350-900 boasts a typical range of about 8,100 nautical miles, approximately 15,000 kilometers, enabling non-stop intercontinental flights, while the slightly larger A350-1000 extends this range to around 8,700 nautical miles, about 16,100 kilometers. Both models cruise at a speed of approximately Mach 0 0.85, comma, or about 529 miles per hour, around 852 kilometers per hour. This combination of speed and long range makes them an attractive option for airlines focused on long haul routes. The A350's focus on passenger comfort, with its wider and quieter cabin, complements its operational benefits and contributes to a more enjoyable travel experience. Its demonstrated reliability and performance are crucial for airlines seeking to minimize disruptions and maximize aircraft utilization. The A350 balance between capacity and efficiency aligns well with the needs of many carriers, making it an attractive option for fleet modernization. Given the current market situation, 
The A350's established market presence, proven reliability, and efficiency give it a competitive advantage over the Boeing 777X, which has faced significant delays due to development challenges. These delays may impact airline confidence and investment decisions, potentially favoring the A350 as a more reliable and timely choice. Thanks for being here that far. You won't want to miss hot news and our interesting analysis about aviation. So please subscribe if you're new here. We would appreciate it if you like, share, and leave your thoughts below. Thanks a lot. However, the A350 rise to prominence was not a foregone conclusion. When Airbus first introduced the concept in 2004, it faced significant skepticism and criticism from the airline industry. Initially perceived as a mere upgrade to the A330, the A350 was derided as a tepid response to Boeing's innovative 787 Dreamliner. Airlines expressed their dissatisfaction, arguing that Airbus needed to do more than simply tweak an existing design to compete effectively. The harsh criticism forced Airbus to abandon its initial plans and start from scratch. This setback not only delayed the program, but also raised concerns about Airbus's ability to compete in the long-haul market. The initial A350-800 variant, despite receiving 182 orders, was ultimately discontinued due to lack of popularity. Airlines gradually shifted their preferences to the larger 901,000 variants or opted for other aircraft types. A growing number of airlines have shifted their loyalty from Boeing to the Airbus A350. Qantas, Australia's national airline, is a prime example. In 2022, Qantas announced plans to replace its aging fleet of Boeing 747 with 12 Airbus A350-1000 for its ultra-long-haul routes, aiming to establish the world's longest flights as part of their Project Sunrise. Shortly after, Air India made headlines with a significant order for 40 A350 aircraft, further emphasizing the growing preference for Airbus in the long-haul market. Other major airlines have also expanded their A350 commitments. Delta Airlines, the largest A350 operator in North America, has ordered an additional 12 A350-900. Surprisingly, United Airlines, a long-standing Boeing customer, has also placed an order for 45 A350-900, marking a departure from its previous preference for Boeing wide-body aircraft. Japan Airlines has also signed a firm order with Airbus for 20 A350-900 wide-body aircraft, completing a commitment announced earlier this year. The order was announced at the 2024 Farnborough Air Show during a signing ceremony between the airline and Airbus. And when it comes to the airline's A350, many people probably still remember the fire incident earlier this year. That may be the reason why the airline continues to trust it. Is it reasonable to hear that? Yes, because passengers on the Airbus A350 said that just minutes after the collision with the Coast Guard plane, the entire cabin was filled with smoke within minutes. The fire then gradually spread to other areas of the plane. However, a miracle happened when all 367 passengers and 12 crew members on the Airbus A350 successfully evacuated before the fire engulfed the plane. Perhaps the main reason is that more than 54% of the A350 airframe is made of carbon fiber composites, including the fuselage, wings, and other important internal and external components. The main purpose of composite materials is to reduce weight while maintaining the necessary strength while also helping to save fuel. The aircraft structure and internal components are mainly made of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, a material consisting of many components, including carbon fiber. Airbus adheres to strict fire, smoke, and toxicity regulations for its interior and exterior materials. According to aviation standards, the material is designed to be fire resistant while also providing the necessary durability. Fire, smoke, and toxicity, FST requirements, apply to all elements inside the aircraft. Composite materials are common to both the structure and the cabin, so they must also meet the same requirements for smoke and toxicity. In terms of fire resistance, CRFPs can extinguish fires automatically, and the thinner composite fuselage skin is more resistant to fire penetration than equivalent metal skins, Airbus said. So the Airbus A350 has successfully carved out a prominent niche in the competitive aviation landscape, largely due to its innovative design, exceptional fuel efficiency, and passenger-focused features. The airplane's advanced technology, including the efficient Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines 
and extensive use of composite materials positions it as a front runner in the long haul market, especially in an era where environmental concerns are paramount. Additionally, its remarkable safety record and enhanced passenger comfort have solidified its appeal. As airlines seek to modernize their fleets and enhance operational efficiency, it stands out as a reliable and sustainable choice, further challenging Boeing's dominance in the sector. With growing orders from prestigious airlines, the A350 not only symbolizes Airbus's resilience, but also reflects a shift in industry preferences towards innovative and efficient aircraft. The A350's journey from initial skepticism to widespread acclaim underscores its significance in shaping the future of air travel.